In this problem, we're going to prove that this infinite sum is equal to a over 1 minus r if the absolute value of r is less than 1. This is an infinite uh, geometric series, and we're basically proving it converges, and it's equal to a over 1 minus r. So before we do the problem, just to, as a quick refresher, uh, whenever you have uh, an infinite sum, say we start at 0, it doesn't really matter what we start, and we go to infinity, and it's a sub n. This is always equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of s sub n. And that's, let me use a different n here. There we go. So this is called the nth partial sum. So if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth partial sum uh, and uh, the limit exists, then we say the series converges and it's equal to, to that limit. If the limit does not exist, uh, then we say the series diverges. So in this problem, we basically have to uh, write down s sub n and uh, then take the limit. I'm going to use a different letter than little n. I'm going to use a big N just to differentiate it from this. So let's let s sub n be equal to the nth partial sum. So, so what is that? It, it's the sum of the first n terms. So let's see, what's the first term? So if you plug in 0, you get a times r to the 0. So r to the 0 is 1, so you just get a plus. Then you plug in 1, so you get a r. Then you plug in 2, so you get a r squared. And then 3, etc. And the last one you plug in is the one you see here. It's the n. So this is a r to the n. Okay, that's the last one that you plug in. So now here's the beautiful trick. We're going to multiply by r. So watch this. So r s sub n is equal to so here we'll have uh, a times r plus, then here we'll have a times r squared, because r times r is r squared. And then we'll have uh, a times r cubed, right? Just multiplying each term, plus, dot, 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 plus. Multiplying this one, it's really r to the 1, right? So you add the exponents, so it's a r to the n plus 1. Okay, now let's subtract. So if we subtract, I'm going to go ahead and write subtract we get uh, s sub n minus r s sub n. And this is equal to, so we're subtracting the top from the bottom. So there's no a here on the bottom, so it'll just be a. And then look, a r minus a r, gone. a r squared minus a r squared, gone. a r cubed, which is invisible, minus a r cubed, gone. This one cancels with the one that you don't see here. So you're left with minus this one here. So minus a r to the m plus 1. And let's go ahead and solve for s sub n so we can factor it out like this. So you have 1 minus r, and that's equal to this stuff here. Now you can factor out an a if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, I will. I will. So a, I was trying to decide, should I do it? <laughs> so this is a, 1 minus, it's always good to have choices, right? So we can factor it out or not factor it out. Uh, and then here we can divide by 1 minus r. So s sub n is equal to a parentheses 1 minus r to the m plus 1, and that's all over 1 minus r. Okay, so uh, we have to see what happens here. So we know, so, uh, we know that uh, r is uh, less than 1 in absolute value. So uh, since the absolute value of r is less than 1, I should, probably should have said that at the beginning, right? So maybe say it here, you know, for, for, so let, yeah. So maybe say that at the beginning so we have it. So since this is less than 1, the limit as n goes to infinity of s sub n, which is this. Let's see what happens. This is 1 minus r to the m plus 1 over 1 minus r. Well, this piece is going to go to 0, right? This goes to 0. So now you drop a limit sign, so you get a 1 minus 0 over 1 minus r. So this is just a over 1 minus r. And that would be the finish, the proof. That's the proof. We did it. So uh, it's equal to a number. So the series converges. And uh, we've shown that it's equal to that. So the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of a r to the n is equal to a 
over one minus r, and that completes the proof. So that's true if the absolute value of r is less than one. Uh, if r is greater than or equal to one, you can easily show or similarly show uh, that it diverges. So yeah, that's it.